Hey Cloud Gamers and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel, your destination for all things cloud gaming. We have some very exciting news for you today. xCloud has definitely been rolling out their Series S and X Blades into Xbox Cloud and we have the proof. What you're seeing in the background here is a full run through of Yakuza Like a Dragon being run on Xbox Cloud Gaming through the PC browser app. This is still in beta, but they have committed to opening this up to all in the very near future, within weeks, over a week ago. So you can see this going to open up to everybody in the next couple of weeks. And you can see here that Yakuza has fully started from that play button in 42 seconds. And if I would have been a bit quicker in selecting the right load here, it would be even faster but about four to five seconds to actually load the saved game there. So into Yakuza Like a Dragon in under one minute from clicking the play button on the first browser screen. And we can also see that we've got graphics options in the game between high resolution and performance. But even if we do put it on high resolution, we're definitely seeing some capped graphics here at the 1080. It has reduced that frame rate slightly. Although it has sharpened up the graphics, it's still not Series X quality, I would say, at 1080, but it's definitely a lot better than it was, and those load times are just insane. Now, the one that started it all off of Twitter is Rainbow Six Siege. You can see here we've got prioritized resolution or prioritized performance, and prioritized resolution gives up to 120 FPS, which means this is running on the S or X blades. Again, when we get into the game, we can see that we've got a massive quality boost and the input latency has pretty much all but gone, making this much more viable as a cloud option. And being able to play Rainbow Six Siege with minimal input latency is definitely a huge bonus as far as cloud gaming goes, especially as this is a very competitive shooter. We do see a little bit of pixelation every now and then moving around quite quickly. And that's more the stream compression. Quality wise and responsiveness is definitely massively improved here and we can't wait to see this hit every single game. Most of the ones that we've tested have been hit or miss but all the ones you're seeing here are definitely 100% upgraded. Then over to Outriders, this game was barely playable on xCloud when it first launched but now look at it. Not only are the load times absolutely insane but we are looking at graphics and responsiveness that really does look native here. And at 1080, this game really does just look and feel like you're playing locally now, which is a huge improvement over the barely playable aspects of xCloud for Outriders that was the case just a couple of days ago. You can see the quality of the flames there as well as we're moving around at least 60 frames per second, if not more. It is super responsive and those at frames per second just look absolutely outstanding. Finally, I looked at Dark Alliance just earlier today and moaned about how long it took for the levels to load, up to 1 minute 45 seconds in some cases. And now if we dive back into it, we get this load time of a full level in just 18 seconds. And straight away, if you do look at that video that was posted earlier today, you'll notice a huge quality improvement on what was in that video. So we can definitely see that this has got the S or X blade treatment as well. We can see so much better graphics here. The armor is shiny. The effects are full on and those load times are immense. So Xbox really stepping it up a gear by rolling out those S and X blades before it even rolls out fully to the public. If you're on Game Pass Ultimate, you are going to get a much better experience than most of us have had in the beta. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this rollout and if you are impressed with these load times. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming and we will see you next time.